percent of the state is fully vaccinated. COVID-19 claimed the lives of hundreds of people in central Illinois. Thousands more had the disease and survived. Some of them were given COVID-19 convalescent plasma. The antibodies in that were important in treatment. Tonight, we're introducing you to two people who gave of themselves to help others. Throughout the pandemic, people walking through this door were saving lives. We at no point did we stop taking donations. As a matter of fact, we knew that we had to ramp up immediately because of all of the cancellations that we were going to face. They faced a lot of them. Community blood services in Urbana lost the equivalent of 40,000 blood donations throughout 2020. Hospitals stopped elective surgeries and regular donors stepped up the plate, so that helped fill the need. But then healthcare providers needed something else. The hospitals became more confident in the powers of the convalescent plasma that the need was increasing. So we stepped up our ask for that. Central Illinois answered the call. John and Kathy Rector are no strangers to donating. I lost a brother to leukemia when I was 10 years old, and uh, it just, I, I know I was, I don't remember a lot about then, but I know a lot of people donated blood. So, um, you know, my focus is donate blood to help those people that, uh, that really need it. When they found out COVID patients needed plasma, they didn't hesitate. They knew what those patients were going through. COVID was, was brutal for, for Kathy and me. It had put me down for two weeks. It put Kathy down for three weeks. Um, it was a little, little scary. Hers turned into pneumonia. I had to drop her off at the ER down the street here one night. And uh, emotionally and physically, it was brutal. If you've survived something, horrible in your life no matter what it is and you have that opportunity to give back why not that's what we're here for it since it was so bad for a couple weeks it was like it was just it felt so good to do something nice to help others and i remember when we posted on facebook one of my friends reached out and thanked us she goes my daughter just got you know the plasma so you know thanks for doing your part more than 2500 people in central illinois did their part so many that last month community blood services was able to stop collecting that plasma they had enough stocked up to meet the hospital's needs and the plasma can stay in a freezer for up to a year. It absolutely saved lives and it kept people from having extreme symptoms, hospitalizations and death. And that's a big deal. It's a big deal, but one they hope is coming to an end. Although they're cautious as we start to work our way toward the end of the pandemic. There is light in the tunnel, but we're still in the tunnel. Community Blood Services is ready to collect that plasma again if needed. Their protocols are still in place, but of course they hope it doesn't get to that point. Brett, this cold snow, not an